Hey beauty addicts, it's Alex. Welcome back to my channel. Please just bear with me with my voice. It is still not completely back to normal. So I'm gonna sound like a chain smoker. It's so deep, oh my God, so just bear with me. But today's video is gonna be the start of a new series. I'm so glad I get to start with this voice. Um, but I am going to be doing a spinoff of a series of one of my favorite beauty gurus on YouTube, Samantha March. She came up with this amazing series called Will I buy it? So definitely go check her out. I will link her channel down below, her latest Will I Buy It video down below. Um, but it, it was just such a good idea because if you are someone who's just starting out on YouTube or you're not, you know, you don't get sent stuff a lot from um, companies, you know, it costs a lot of money to try to keep up with those other YouTubers. So she found a way to not spend the money but still be able to talk about the products with her subscribers to still make videos about those products without having to purchase every single one that comes out. So in that video, she goes over all the new products that are coming out and she tells you, you know, will I buy it? What, like she tells you her thoughts about it. Would she buy it? Maybe there are certain, um, Maybe there's a collection comes out, she'll tell you which of that collection she'll get or what she won't and why, and she'll insert pictures, she kind of goes over the details of everything. So I thought that was such a great idea. Now, I thought it'd be fun to do that series too, but one, I didn't want to be a complete copycat, and two, I was like, if I did a Will I Buy It video, it would be stupid because I don't have money to spend, and when I and even though I don't have money to spend, I end up spending it at Forever 21. Because I work at Forever 21, I am now a visual merchandiser. Um, I don't know if I've announced that on this channel, so you guys don't know. I am a visual merchandiser now at Forever 21. I am not moving to California. I am not going to fit them. I'm so sorry. I'm just like completely great. It's because I tell everybody on Snapchat, so I kind of forget that I don't tell you guys on YouTube. So please make sure you follow me on Snapchat. I keep you guys posted on everything going on in my life on there. But I got a new apartment um, in Pittsburgh and I'm going to be moving in in June and I also just started my position at Forever 21 as a visual merchandiser um, and I'm really excited about all of that so um, yeah if you guys have any questions about that leave them down in the comments snap me do whatever um, but I always keep you guys updated on snapchat but anyway so I'm making a, I'm moving this is my like last year I moved so I spent a lot of money moving I'm moving again so that's gonna cost me some money um, you know my job my new job I'm making half as much as what I made at my old job as an insurance broker I made so much more money as an insurance broker so I have even less money to spend and I'm really trying to stop myself from buying stuff at forever 21 but I cannot help myself so I know if I have any money that's probably where it's gonna go because I'm always, you know, it's one thing, I, I would be so much easier, I wouldn't buy all this shit if I wasn't there. I Now that I'm not working night shifts, I actually work day shifts, so when I'm done, it's not like, oh, I can't buy anything because we're closed. It's like, oh, now I can go shopping, so it's so hard, you guys. It is so hard, so we'll be seeing a lot of Forever 21 in the future. Um, I will be um, actually starting a new channel soon. It's gonna be a fashion channel, so I'm gonna be doing a bunch of hauls and um, uh, different types of fashion videos on that channel. Um, so that's coming soon, so I will announce that whenever it happens. Um, but pretty much the big thing is, if I do Will I Buy It, I would just say going through and say, saying that I won't buy anything. And it almost seems silly to do a video about Will I Buy It when I know I'm not gonna buy anything because I don't have any money. Um, and the little money that I do have, I blow on Forever 21. So, um, because I'm building up my collection and my outfits and the accessories and everything that I can wear while I work. Um, so, I thought it would be fun to do a, wait for it, would I buy it? So, if I had the money, would I buy these items? So, I'm going to go through all the items and say, would I buy it? I'm still keeping in mind, like, I'm going to kind of pretend like I have somewhat of a budget, like I'm, I'm not going to buy everything in the world because I'm just not going to pretend like if I could buy stuff I would have all the money in the world. Let's just say, you know, back a year ago when I seemed to have a money to blow every now and then, would I have bought this product if I had, you know, similar income then? Um, so I'm going to go through a bunch of new products that uh, are currently out by the time this video, there's only one product that's not out today that I'm filming, but by the time this video goes up, it will be out. So they're all new products that have been out the past couple of weeks, just released, stuff like that. If there are any products that you guys want to see on this channel in the future, please let me know down in the comments of this video, and then I will make sure to check back here, and I will use that for my next video that I buy. So this is the start of my Would I Buy It series. And it, it, again, I want to say it is a spinoff of Samantha March's Will I Buy It series. 
So again, I will link everything down below. I want to make sure that Samantha March gets all the credit for, you know, the Will I Buy It series. I'm just doing Would I Buy It because I'm broke. I'm a broke beauty fashion addict. Oh my God, I can't deal with this. So we're going to go through the products. Let's get started. I know I'm talking a lot and I don't even have a voice completely. I got my handy dandy notes, printed them off, got everything outlined. Like I'm a freaking weirdo. I have the uh, website. I have the cost of everything. Of course, the text is in green for the cost. Um, but yeah, so let's just go through all of these products. How many products do I have? I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five, but technically six, because there's two from ColourPop I'm going to be comparing. Uh, but we're going to go in alphabetical order. So we're first going to start off with the Anastasia Glow Kit by Nicole Guerrero. Honestly, that kit looks so pretty. Just the packaging is just beautiful. The shades look beautiful in the pan. Um, and I think it's just a beautiful highlight palette. Now, this palette runs for $40, and it has six shades. So I'm not going to pretend like I memorized this. So the shades are Kitty Cat. Forever Young, Daydream, Forever Lit, Glow Getter, and 143. Now, Kitty Cat is a pink with a platinum reflect. Forever Young is a pink pearl with a silver reflect. Daydream is a coral with a white gold reflect. That sounds pretty interesting. Uh, Forever Lit is a platinum with a lavender reflect. And then Glow Getter is a champagne with a rose reflect. And 143 is a rose gold with a bronze reflect. Man, this just made, all those shades sound so beautiful. The description sounds so beautiful. Like, I would absolutely die to have this palette. Not even going to lie. Um, and then also, with these palettes, they can be applied dry or wet. I probably, maybe I've tested it out once um, on my glow kits that I currently do have. I have that glow and gleam. Uh, I don't have any of the other ones. But I, I think maybe I tried it once wet, but I can't remember. But definitely try. It is amazing. Cheekbone highlight, put on your nose, your cupid's bow, inner corner of your eye, your brow bone. Like the eyeshadow or the um, glow kit highlighters are amazing, at least from the highlighters that I have from Anastasia. Like not one highlighter, even the illuminator that I have in Starlight is amazing. Um, so I'm sure the quality of this palette is amazing without me even having to try it out. The only thing I do want to mention, I have mentioned before, and Samantha March has mentioned many times on her Snapchat is those things, sometimes when you buy them, they come broken. Now mine, my, the original two that I got never came broken. But for some reason, poor Samantha, you just kept getting palettes that kept being broken. She would reorder them or have them resent, and then those palettes come broke. Like, so many broken palettes, and apparently a lot of people have also experienced that problem with the Nicole Carrero palette. Um, some people didn't, some people were so excited, like, everything was great because it wasn't broken. But if you're spending, spending $40, they better not come broken. And that's why I suggested to a lot of you is, if you're going to get these palettes, go in store to get them so you don't have to worry about them getting shipped and broken in the process. Um, hopefully they'll up their um, shipping uh, packaging capabilities because that is just ridiculous. Um, okay, so yeah, this is really pretty palette. Now it is limited edition. They did just restock it. Hopefully by the time this video is up, it'll still be in stock. Now this is kind of like a yes and no answer. Would I buy it? For me, no. And the reason why is that this palette is limited edition. I hate, as a YouTuber, I hate limited edition products because I can only use them for X amount of time. There's going to be a certain point where I cannot show them on my channel. And usually that's fairly quickly because limited edition products, you know, they're here for a short time. They're gone. You miss it. Oh, well. And I don't want to show them on my channel. And I still end up doing that because my collection is so small at this point because I'm going vegan and cruelty-free. I'm still showing you guys. I end up showing you guys stuff that is discontinued or maybe is limited edition. I try to limit it. Um, and ColourPop, like, their stuff gets just discontinued randomly. So I never, I never know. And it's just so annoying. So um, I really don't want to, you know, if I know something's definitely limited edition, I don't want to get it. Maybe something from ColourPop I get. Yeah, I know it'll probably be discontinued in a year, but I probably have a little bit more time with that product and it's a cheaper product than I would with the Anastasia Glow Kits. Um, and then also, the Glow Kits are going to last freaking forever. Like a ColourPop Glow Lipstick, I'm like, okay, I probably can use it up in a short period of time. Those palettes are going to last me forever. So they're just going to sit in my drawers forever because I would hate to use them and be on Snapchat and be, everyone be like, oh, look at that highlight. And then me, me being like, oh, it's something that you can't fucking get anymore. Like, so I don't even want to wear it because, like, the majority of the time I want to be able to, to film or be on Snapchat and be able or take pictures for Instagram. And I want to be able to show you guys 
stuff that you can get. So really there's no point in me getting a limited edition product. I think if I ever get a limited edition product, it's something that I like literally would die if I didn't have, like I could not live without, or if I was doing like a special giveaway where I wanted to review an entire collection and do a giveaway with it or some, something special, but this is just, you know, I guess maybe I could do a giveaway for this palette, but like at this point now, especially because I didn't get it right when it came out, it's just, it's, it's too delayed of a reaction at this point. I can't even do like a review video. I feel like by the time I get the review video up, it, it won't be available. So um, I'm gonna say no as a YouTuber. But if I were not a YouTuber, if not, I were not a blogger, a vlogger, or anything like that where I would be reviewing makeup and stuff like that, um, and, you know, be shown wearing makeup a lot, uh, I would totally buy it. I think this palette is so freaking beautiful. Again, I would buy it in store to prevent, you know, it being damaged and broken. Um, but I think it's absolutely beautiful. The description of all the shades is amazing. Um, so it really just depends. If you are a YouTuber, I would say don't get it. If you are, uh, or if you're a blogger, don't get it. But if you are just, you know, a subscriber who loves watching YouTube videos, go for it. I would totally go for it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. All right, so the next product is another limited edition product. It is from Beauty Blender, and it is their Summer Fling set of three Beauty Blenders. One is the original Beauty Blender, and then there's two new uh, Beauty Blender. One is orange and one is lime. I don't know if they're going to, like, bring those out as individual things that you can buy in the future. I don't remember seeing them online, but you can get them in the set. And the set is just beautiful. Like, I would love to get, like... A couple of those sets and then put them in a jar and it would just be such a really pretty summer decor piece because they're just beautiful colors that really go together really summery really fun um, so in a way I probably kind of want to buy them as a decor piece um, but then again they're limited edition um, I hate buying limited edition products now the entire thing is cost $49 which is not bad if you get the whole if you get the bundle that's I'm um, going to save you $11 as opposed to buying three beauty blenders individually. So it will save you some money if you do that. So if you're not a YouTuber, again, I would totally get that deal. I think it's a great deal. Beauty blenders are amazing. They are a great product, high quality product. You'll save $11 by getting a couple. If you have a dog or a pet that likes to chew on your beauty blenders, um, it's always good to have backups on you. So I think this is a fun way to get something, um, to get a set so you have backups. If anything goes wrong, um, if you, you're, all the other ones are dirty, if the other ones are chewed on, whatever the case may be, I think it's a great idea to get this uh, this thing. Um, also, if you're someone who, like me, thinks like, oh, that would be such a cute decor piece, get one of these, get a bunch of these, and fill some sort of jar with them and use them as a display piece. You can still use them as well, um, but I think that would be really, really cute. But as a YouTuber, I'm going to have to say no, I would not get this. Now, it does come with the original Beauty Blender, so it does make it a little bit more worth it because I can always show the original Beauty Blender. Or I could even, you know, get the green and the orange one and use them and say, if I compare them and they work just the same as the pink one, I could say, hey, you know, I'm using the orange and the green one just to switch things up, but it works just like the pink one. You can get the pink one. I only have the black one, actually, so it could, it could be, maybe I would. I'm conflicted. Of, of the limited edition things, this is the one that I would get. It's not a straight answer. If I had to get one of the limited edition products that I'm talking about right now, that would be it because um, it does come with something that is regularly available, the original Beauty Blender, and the other ones probably will work just the same. They look exactly the same, just a different color, uh, and it would be really pretty as a display piece. So I'm changing the yes. I wrote down no originally when I wrote this, but yes, I would. I would. Oh, and there's like more. I forgot that this is side is double sided. So there's probably like a couple more products I'm gonna talk about. Um, okay. So we're going to move on to my favorite brand of all time, ColourPop. I'm so out of the loop. I'm so bad. Like, I, I do a really good job at keeping up with my friends' Snapchats. I really need to keep up with Instagram because there's all these new products coming out that I'm not aware of. And I'm purposely, like, trying not to be aware of them because I don't want to be tempted to buy anything because I don't have any money to spend. Like, I have a problem, guys. I have such a spending problem. I need to get my shit together because I'm making half as much money as I used to. It's totally worth it because I'm doing, I'm doing something that I love. I'm going to work my way up. Um, so I'll get back to that salary eventually. But, oh, it's so hard. 
ColourPop, they came out with two new lippies. Um, they got the blotted lip and then the ultra blotted lip. Um, and I saw Trend Mood had a picture of them online. And um, I'm curious to see how they work and how they compare to the ultra matte liquid lipsticks, to the lippy sticks, because the blotted lip, the, the way that it looks for it looks kind of like a lippy stick, but just kind of fatter. And then the ultra blotted lips looks, it comes in like a liquid lipstick tube. So it's kind of like interesting. And I'm more of like the tubey person but when I was looking at the swatches on um, trend mood on Instagram I was I seemed to be going being pulled towards more of the colors that were under the regular blotted lip and under her review she said that she preferred the blotted lip over the ultra blotted lip because the ultra one got a little too dry but for me I like the more dry ones because that means like no transfer now um, let's see so the blotted lip um, what is it? ColourPop describes it as moisturizing, buildable, and super comfortable. Now with the Ultra Blot Lip, ColourPop describes it as super long wear, super matte, and transfer proof. So the Blot Lip is not necessarily going to be transfer proof. Some people may say it is. Or it may transfer, but it may still look nice on the lip. Like it won't ruin how it looks on the lip, but you're going to get it on stuff. And I hate, and I hate, and I hate having to get stuff on it because like I'm always like eating and drinking. Like I eat and drink. I eat every hour and a half. I'm constantly drinking water, I'm drinking coffee. If you go to Starbucks and you get a hot latte and get your lipstick on it, like it's so gross and annoying. So I, I mean, honestly, I probably end up preferring the ultra, the ultra blotted lip. Um, now the blotted lip is five dollars and the ultra blotted lip is six dollars. Not a huge price difference. It's not like, oh my god, that one's one dollar cheaper. I have to get that one. You know, <laughs> like whatever. Like it's like penny like you know it's not that big of a difference it's not that big of a deal so I really just think it depends on you know what you're looking for so if you're someone who prefer the, now I have not tried the blotted lip I have not tried the ultra blotted lip but based off the description and what I've read online and researched it seems like the blotted lip would be comparable to more like an ultra satin or a lippy six and then the uh ultra blotted would be more like the ultra matte lippies now I love both the ultra satin and ultra matte uh, I went through a phase where I was more about the ultra satin, but I went right back to ultra matte because when I'm on the go and I'm doing all these things, I don't want to have to worry about my make my lipstick coming off on other stuff. Even if it ends up looking okay, like it's still really annoying to me to get it on stuff. Um, so I just prefer more matte finishes, even if it ends up being a little bit drying. Um, so that's just my preference. Now. Um, I looked online and all of the shades in the Bly Lip and the Ultra Bly Lip are all vegan, which is amazing. I'm so glad that there weren't any that, you know, were non-vegan friendly. Some of the metallics that came out were not vegan friendly. It was like at least one um, Ultra Matte that wasn't. Um, and yeah, so their ColourPop is pretty good um, with providing a lot of vegan options, like 95% of or 90% of what they have is vegan friendly so you just got to make sure you check the FAQ page to see their list of stuff that isn't vegan. Um, so let's see so the shades for the blotted lip are brain freeze, ice cube, drip, deja vu, sucker, exotic, on a stick, bees knees, candy floss, lexi, and lolly. Um, and of those shades I bolded the ones that I would want to try the most and I would say brain freeze, ice cube, on a stick, and bees knees would be my top picks. And then for the ultra wide lip, the shades are Double Scoop, Doozy, Slide, Zuma, Out of Beach, Bitto Sunny, Split, and Cherry on top. And of those shades, the shades that I would want to try the most are Doozy, Slide, Zuma, and Split. Um, and what's nice is on ColourPop's website, they're really making it nice now, where you can see the lip shade on um, all different lip, or skin tones. So someone who's really lip fair like me, someone who's medium skin tone, someone who's dark skin tone. You see a lip swatch, you see a picture of the lippy, um, so you get a good idea of what that shade looks like. And it definitely helps seeing it on someone's lips, because some of the stuff that I saw swatched, I didn't like as much, but then I saw it on the lip, and that really helped inform my decision. So um, if you guys are trying to make a decision, try to go on the website. Um, ColourPop is definitely doing a good job. I don't know about other websites um, from other brands, how they're doing, but ColourPop is really stepping up their game. Like, ColourPop is an amazing brand. They are kicking so much booty. Um, it, it's amazing. So, um, so would I buy it? I'm sure you guys already know the answer. 
yes, I would totally buy these products. Um, maybe I would just try one or two of each type to see how I like the formulation. Maybe, you know, get two of each just in case I pick up the one dud, you know? Um, so I get two of each just to try them out. I want to own every type of product that ColourPop has. I still need to get their single pan eyeshadows. Um, they have brushes and like, I'm sure there's other stuff that I have been out of the loop of because I've been trying to resist temptation, but I definitely think when I put in a ColourPop order, I'll try um, some of these. So if there's any particular colors that you guys want me to pick up from the blotted lip or the ultra blotted lip, let me know down in the comments and then I'll try to pick some of those um, whenever I put in that order. So I don't know when that would be. I, like, I'm like, I'm totally going to make this order, but I need to wait until I move in, get settled, kind of get steady with like my um my new paychecks and my new rent and my old utilities and all that figure all that out so but i do i i desperately need to get some new makeup because like i keep repeating stuff so yeah of both i would definitely like to try the formulations of those this video is going to be so long oh my god i didn't that's why i try not to pick too many products i was like oh this is not enough oh this is enough okay now we're going to go on to Cover FX. They came out with a blurring primer. I only want, own one product from Color, Cover FX, and it is their cream contour palette. And I bought that two and a half years ago or something like that, and I have yet to use it. It's so bad. It's just sitting there, and I probably shouldn't use it now because it's probably going to make me break out. But, like, I'm just like, I need to use it. Like, I would really love to try a product from Cover FX because I need to give them a shot because I think that they seem like they'd be a really cool brand. Now, blurring primer costs $38. It is a high-end primer, so $38 may actually be kind of on the lower side because it's like Smashbox. I remember that primer I used to buy all the time. It was like 50 bucks, and like depending on the size that you get, like some of them can be really pricey. Um, so this is what Cover FX says about this primer. So it says, blurs the appearances of pores, fine lines, and other imperfections for ultra airbrush skin. So if it does do that, that sounds freaking amazing. I have pores, you know, as a YouTuber, uh, as someone who's on camera, you know, I want to hide all of those imperfections. So if this primer could do that, that would be amazing. Um, and then the bonus of this product is that it does not contain an inflammatory five, gluten, mineral oil, fragrance, parabens, or talc, and it is for all skin types. So, I'm like, would I buy it if I had the money? Um, you know what? I put on here no. I think it would be worth a shot. If I had, let's say, let me put it this way. If I was going to try a high-end face primer, I would definitely want to try the one from Cover FX. Oh, my nose is running. I need to go find a tissue. And when I say tissue, I mean toilet paper because that's more affordable. Random lifestyle tip. Oh, this is so annoying. I hate my allergies. This is bullshit. Okay. It's really hot. I'm sweating. Sweating so bad. It was like freezing yesterday. Now I'm sweating. Okay. Let me gather myself. Okay, yes. So if I was going to spend money on a high-end uh, face primer, you know, I definitely would want to try this one out. I love the fact that, you know, it, ha it blurs all those things. It kind of just reminds me of the Facetune app where you kind of make your skin look all really smooth they're like the filters on your cameras that you set to skin soften and stuff like that like if it could do that without me having to you know use special editing things or set the camera settings like that would be freaking amazing um so yeah if i had the money i would totally buy this product i think it's amazing um now if it didn't work then i would just pass on it and continue buying my um drugstore face primers and honestly even if this did work I would still get my elf um, face primers just because they're so much more affordable and maybe I would save the cover FX face primer for special occasions when I know that I'm going to be filming or going to a special event I would save it for that and then I only days other days where I'm just kind of going to work or you know not, not doing anything particularly special then I would just use my affordable drugstore products that way that product lasts longer um, and you don't feel like you have to keep, like if you use that constantly, you have to replace it like at least monthly, I would say. Um, so yeah, I think that this primer sounds amazing. If it, if it's, if it works just like it says, I think that's great. Definitely. Uh, if you're thinking about getting this, try to see if there's reviews on YouTube or on a blog somewhere to see if someone else likes it. But based off what they say it's supposed to be like, sounds pretty awesome to me. And of course, I mean, this is kind of self-explanatory because my channel is vegan and cruelty-free, but all this stuff I did confirm are all vegan and cruelty-free.
All right, so the next product is the Jeffree Star Times Manny MUA collection. Um, some of the stuff is sold out, but I wanted to talk about it because I thought it was such a cool collection. Um, they had a bundle that was available for $50 that sold out, and then one of the lipsticks in Daddy is sold out. But as of right now, as the last time I checked, I'm Shook is still available, which is a medium-toned burnt coral li liquid lipstick, which that description just sounds amazing already and that is eight dollars eighteen dollars individually and then the actual skin frost in eclipse which sounds beautiful which is a pale icy peach perfect for someone with light skin tone like myself uh, that is twenty nine dollars and it is also paraben and gluten free um, same thing with the lipsticks are paraben and gluten free as well which is also really amazing that Jeffree Star not only makes his stuff vegan and cruelty free, but he, he makes at least some of his products paraben and gluten free. And I think that's really great. The skin frosts are about as big as my head. They're pretty huge. I have one. Um, I have one blue one because I got it for like a specific tutorial. But I need to get like a legit, like a regular one. Um, I think Eclipse would be a great one to get. So if I put in an order and Eclipse is still available, I will definitely be picking that one up. I think the packaging is just genius. I love the black and the star and the moon. I think it's just so cool how they did this. And, and the liquid lipstick sounds amazing. I want to try to get other liquid lipsticks because I'm always wearing ColourPop and probably knowing the crap out of you, especially my international viewers who cannot get some of this. Now, I don't know if you can get Jeffree Star, but you know, I want to try to at least switch it up a little bit. Like right now, this is Salt from ColourPop, some other Ultra Metallics. Um, but I absolutely love Jeffree Star products. Every product that I got from him, I absolutely love. It's high quality. You always seem to get a big amount of it. Like the, the highlighters are huge. The eyeshadow palette is huge and the pans within them are huge. Um, the lip scrub is huge. Like there's so much product that you get. And I love that I just know automatically everything is vegan and cruelty free. I think the color selection is amazing. Um, I think the packaging is really fun and very nice. Um, you know, there were a couple of liquid lipsticks that I thought weren't as great a quality, but there were some that were amazing. Um, I think part of the problem is some of them were scented, and one of them was a yellow, um, so that had to be tricky. I, you know, he's the only person I think has put out a yellow liquid lipstick. Um, so I definitely want to try more. I don't want to judge the liquid lipstick so much. Like, everything, pretty much everything else has been perfect. I absolutely love the liquid lipstick and watermelon soda. I'm so obsessed. Um, so I've just had great success with Jeffree Star. Um, and one of you left a comment on one of my videos, and I, I will respond to that comment probably before this video goes up. If you guys are wondering about my stance on Jeffree Star, I will be doing a video kind of touching on that, on how I decide on which brands to support and why. Um, but pretty much, I, um, I'm fine with Jeffree Star. My, my, overall, my overall thing is people make mistakes. And I don't think that people should pay for those mistakes for the rest of their lives. They've apologized. They haven't been acting that way, at least in the recent past. So um, recently, so I don't think, um, and I think worse things came out from that situation where him and his family were being threatened, saying that people wanted to kill him, kill his family. Um, that to me is worse. So to me, people people screw up, and I don't think that they should pay for it for the rest of their lives. It sucks that. His shit is in the limelight, but it, it, just think about the worst thing that you've ever done. And everyone just judged you on that for the rest of your life. No one wanted to be your friend. No one wanted to support you ever again because of that from mistake you made. That's just my thing. Not excusing his behavior in the past, but you got to move on. So that's just like my little snippet about that. If you don't like it, you don't like me, you think I'm an idiot, you think I'm an idiot, we're still buying Jeffree Star, then you click out and leave. I don't give a I don't. Like, I don't care. Like, I'm going to be myself. I really don't give a Um, so that's that. So, yes, I would buy the Jeffree Star products. I think he has such great products. I think that collaboration was amazing. So, hopefully by the time I put it in order, it's still available. Uh, he's been doing a good job of keeping a um, high stock of stuff. But the fact that not only was it a Jeffree Star product, it was also a Manny MUA collaboration. I know that stuff sold out a lot quicker. Um, I don't know if he's going to be restocking that. If you guys know if he's going to be restocking, let me know down in the comments. Um, but hopefully I can get my hands on Eclipse and that with the lipstick. You know, I'm shook. Yeah, sounds amazing. Ooh, we're down with page one, front and back. Now we just have the last page, which is front. There's two more products that we are going to be talking about. All right, so the next one is the Kat Von D Pastel Goth Eyeshadow Palette, which costs $38. So this eyeshadow palette, I, I'm i just going to tell you straight up, would I buy it? No. And when you look at the palette, it's just like, 
I don't, I like more nudes. And even if I do color, I would do color. But the thing is, um, you know, I want a palette that has like a dark pink, a light pink, and a pale pink. And like, like, you know, I feel like so you, the looks that you would create from this palette are going to be the craziest looks where you're combining these opposite colors, which on their own are very pretty. Um, so the colors, um, eyeshadows are Star, which is a yellow, Clementine, which is a peach, Meow, which is a Barney purple, Dope, which is a purple with blue undertones, Doom, which is a bright turquoise blue, Bloom, which is a dull green, Dagger, which is gray, and Skull, which is white. Now, Skull kind of looks like the white eyeshadow that I've been looking for. It looks like it would apply very thickly on the inner corner, which is what I would love. So that, I'm like, okay, that's really pretty. That, that would be great. Um, Doom is a bright turquoise blue. It is so beautiful. Would be a great pop, pop, pop of color on the lower lash line. Clementine would be really pretty in the cre crease. But when I just look over it as a whole, I'm not like, oh, my God, I need that. Or I, can't, I don't know what I would do if this would sell out. Like... There's definitely things that I would like about it. All of the eyeshadows are matte, which is great. Um, so I, th and I think part of the problem too is my collection, I'm starting from scratch. So like I need more palettes that are a little bit more day to day or if they're fun colors, they have like a spectrum of the same color, not just like blue, yellow, orange. I would need like, like I said, like light orange, darker orange, fort orange, reddish orange, you know, black and white and like something a little like, they seem like they go together. This seems more like a rainbow with a gray and a, yeah, and a white. So maybe down the road, that would be something that I'd be really all about. But right now, I'm just kind of not like, like if someone gave it to me as a present, I'd be like, oh, this is great. But I'm like, $38. Cap on D eyeshadow palette, two tops and a couple accessories from Forever 21. Two tops and a couple accessories from Forever 21. So I, I would much, 10 times, rather have that um, or, like, a nice dinner out with friends. Like, there's so many other things that aren't even make or believe that I would rather spend, put that money towards than that palette. Not saying it's a bad palette. It may end up being, like, a really great palette if any of you guys have tried it or know people have tried it. So it's, like, an amazing palette. Really good formul formulated eyeshadows. Um, if anything, I would want to try the... Shade and Light eyeshadow palette. I'm pretty sure that that's probably vegan. So if the Shade and Light palette is eyeshadow palette is vegan, I think that is what I would try. Because I think that would be a great day-to-day -day eyeshadow palette to have. Um, I think that, I'm so mad. Kat Von D is no longer associated with a third party. I gave away my Shade and Light face palette. Now I want that palette back, but I sold it. So that's what sucks about like companies like switch changing and stuff, but she changed for the better. So maybe I'll invest in that again too. So the Shade and Light eyeshadow palette, the Shade and Light face palette, um, I think I might go for those. But yeah, definitely not the pastel goth one. That's just not, it's not screaming at me. It's not like I have to have it. All right, and the last one that is going to come out tomorrow as I'm filming this, but as of whenever I post this, it'll be available. Who knows? Maybe it'll be sold out by the time I'm done talking about this. Um, but they are the Melt Cosmetics Melt Digital Dust Highlighters. Now, these highlighters each cost $39, which is pretty darn pricey. Think about it, the Jeffree Star highlighters are $29 and they're huge. I don't know um, how huge these dust highlighters are. I imagine they're not as big as, as Jeffree Star. Um, but I have not tried anything from Mill Cosmetics. I wanted to get some other stuff that was vegan friendly, but they would always be sold out. Or by the time they weren't sold out and they were available, I was like, oh, I don't, have, I don't want to spend money on it. Um, and even now, I'm like, oh my God, so much that would be so much money. But if I could afford it, I would definitely 100% get one of these uh, metal digital dust highlighters. Um, there's a lot of hype around them, and it seems like, based on pictures, that they look amazing. Um, so the formula combines the qualities of a beige powder, a cream, and a fluid texture, which sounds very interesting, very unique. So, you know, we're 2016 was all about highlighters. 2017, I think, is going to be all about highlighters again. But it would be nice to see the different types of highlighters that come out. And I think that this might be something that's, you know, a little bit more interesting and definitely something that I would want to try. And according to the brand, the highlighters are equipped to last for up to 12 hours. And I feel like highlighters really do last a really long time, at least on me. Like, I never feel the need to touch up. I may touch up just because I'm like, ooh, we're going to put some on more, more, girl. Like, I just want to like people from across the world to be able to see me. Um, but you know, like 
I never really have a problem with that, so it's good to know that these last a little bit longer, this last 12 hours. I think that because it combines a cream and a powder, that will help. I think if you if you want a highlight to last a really long time, you can go with the cream highlight and then do a powder highlight on top, and you're like good to go like uh, until you take your makeup off at the end of the day. Um, so the shades, there are three shades. One is Stargazer, which is a soft champagne. Gold Ore, which is a warm gold, and Nova, a warm bronze. Um, the only one that I would pick up would be Stargazer because that would be perfect for my pale skin tone because it's a soft champagne. And it looks absolutely stunning. Um, I like the packaging. The packaging is kind of sleek and nice. Um, and I'm just curious about these. I think that they sound pretty interesting. Um, and once again, I've been wanting to try something from Milk Cosmetics, so I would be down to try one of these. Um, maybe I will irresponsibly buy one of these tomorrow. I don't know. Um, but would I buy it? Hell yeah, if I had the money. But, you know, there's certain things in here that I'm like, mm, not worth it if it's limited edition. And, um, I don't know if some of the stuff that I mentioned, if I didn't mention it was limited edition, they may be limited edition. I'm sure the ColourPop stuff, they're not limited edition, but they'll probably be discontinued within the next year when another set comes out. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know. Like, there's definitely some stuff on here that I would absolutely love to get. Some stuff that I would get if I wasn't a YouTuber. And some stuff that I'm like, man, it's really not that, not that great. So, um, yeah. So, I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Would I Buy It? Please let me know down in the comments if you really enjoyed this. Let me know if you guys are also subscribed to Samantha and love the Will I Buy It videos. I would love to, I would love to know if you guys, you know, are from her channel. Um, if you like those type of videos and you would love to see a Would I Buy It on my channel. Also, let me know what products you want me to talk about down the road. Even if there's not something right now that you want to suggest to me. If in two weeks something pops up that's coming out and you want um, me to talk about it. Let me know down in the comments of this video. This is the video that I'm going to look at for any suggestions regarding the next would I buy a video so that way I can keep it organized. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you have not subscribed to my channel already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button below. Ding that little bell so you're notified of when my videos have been posted. Like this video if you did like it and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Hopefully my body will sound better next time a golden bronze makeup tutorial. I'm just too excited for summer. I just cannot wait to get to it. And I wanted to use some other products that I have not been using as much or I haven't used in a while or haven't shown you even at all just because I know I've been kind of a little bit repetitive. So I'm using a Glamour Dolls eyeshadow and where is it? It's on the floor. So I'm using this Glamour Dolls eyeshadow in Sorcery. It's a single eyeshadow. So that's